To find out more about how our youthful society sees the current state education system, I came to Stafford. Occupied by hipsters, goths, chavs and emos, Stafford is an endless concoction of weird and peculiar teenagers. So let's hear what they have to say. Why do you think that the elder generations have such a low opinion of today's youthful population? I think the media has a lot to do with it. Um, they are usually quite biased towards teenagers and always seem to pick up on the minor and major things that they do in society, which usually tend to have a negative effect on whatever they're involved in. So you're saying that because the media has such a low opinion of teenagers, that in turn leads to everybody else having a low opinion of them, because everybody consumes media? Well, media usually has a massive influence over what people think because you know, nowadays, not kind of people tend to do or believe what they hear, yeah. you know what I mean, rather than go and find it out for themselves. So, yeah, they, they're yeah. obviously entitled to their own opinion. As part of the youthful population, do you feel increasingly unenthusiastic about learning in school? No, I mean, I wouldn't say that I feel unenthusiastic about it. I mean, I go to college and I've got to say, I think it's one of the uh, best learning steps I've taken so far. I mean, personally, I, mean, I do actually quite enjoy going to college. I mean, it's quite, it's fun, it's relaxed, it's chilled. Really? And yeah, and I think the teaching is really good. However, from someone else's point of view, I can understand why some people definitely be unenthusiastic. You get certain courses which aren't right for people, which then, to them, make it boring. But at the end of the day, it's really a matter of opinion, yeah. I would say. Why do you think young people uh, have such a low tolerance level when it comes to learning in school? I think that young people these days, their attention spans are a lot shorter because of the, um, you know, the introduction of things like social media and the internet. They're expected, yeah. you know, they're, they're expecting instant gratification. You know, with the internet, you've got instant information. You don't have to wait for any results. You're saying that young people should be a little bit more patient when it comes to education. Yeah, and I think the, um, that lack of patience, you know, that's brought about by social media and the internet translates to learning. They don't want to take the time to you know, learn all this information which is going to benefit them in the long run. They just, they want results like that. More and more, elder generations credit the increase in students' exam pass rates to the dumbing down of exams. They say exams nowadays are getting too easy and are filled with Mickey Mouse questions. But that can't be right. I mean, look at the sort of questions we have to answer. Back me up here, Ed Balls. We have every few weeks, Mr. Speaker, the repeat of the usual litany from the honourable gentleman opposite, in which he comes along to this house, reads out what he, uh, what he calls our Mickey Mouse test questions in GCSE exams, and tries to use that in order to say there's been dumbing down, the exams are too easy, and there's no rigour in our state education system. I have to say, Mr Speaker, it is total and absolute nonsense. I have actually been back to check the um, exam um, papers in the last few weeks. I had a look at the, um, the GCSE additional science biology paper. Um, first question, first page, name the type of enzyme that digests stains containing fats. Sounds quite difficult to me. Does he have an answer? Happy to take an intervention. <laughs> Explain how a fluoride um, atom can change into a fluoride iron. Do you want to try? <laughs> Do you want to try? Hard questions, Mr. Speaker. Hard questions in tough exams, which our young people are doing very well. I have to say, there is one question I do know the answer to. Why are, young more, um, why are more young people leaving school with good grades? Not because they're dumbing down and the exams are getting easier. It's because of the hard work of pupils and parents and teachers and head teachers and the investment and reform which his party has opposed consistently in the last 12 years. How would you compare... Um your youth when you were my age to today's youth? At school? Yeah. I would say at school we had a lot more respect for our, our teachers. Really? Yeah. Um, there was no swearing in the class or calling teachers names, which I think happens today. It was ingrained within us that we had more respect for our teachers. We just did. Didn't you say that that was a drug problem in today's schools? Well, I hear that, uh, from what I hear from children, and various people, there's a problem with drugs that we never had. You have uh, 
You sniff the dogs in. A very blunt question. Are kids getting stupider? I don't think they're getting, they're not getting stupider, but I would say that t today's teenagers haven't got the respect for their elders like when I was at school and, and also the way they speak to parents. I would never speak to my parents the way you speak to us. But then there must be... There must be yeah, they're, they're probably, it's probably our fault as well, the way you brought up, you have too much, you, sp you know, you're spoiled. Um, when I was uh, a teenager, I had to work for my money, you just get given what you want by your parents. and Yeah, that's probably our fault, but uh, I would definitely say there's more, there's lack of respect, generally speaking.